events yesterday and this week in reading, you've been learning about homonyms and homophones. Homonyms and homophones are words that sound the same, but they mean different things. Homonyms are words that are spelled the same way. Homophones are words that are spelled differently. But deer and deer sound the same, right? They're spelled differently. So this is a book that we're going to read today on our Promethean board. It's called Deer, Deer. Deer, Deer. When you use the word deer, you're writing a letter. And a deer is a, the animal a deer, right? So deer, we're writing a letter, deer. We're writing a letter to the deer. Let's read our book. Here's the letter. Dear, dear, I now live at the zoo. Wait until you hear what goes on over here. Love, ant, ant. And here's ant, ant. What's an ant? What's an, an aunt or an ant? Somebody like your mom or dad's sister that's a family relative, yes? And what's a little ant? The, <coughs> the insect, <coughs> yeah? The moose, here's the moose, loves moose. Moose, like pudding, here's the moose. He ate, ate bowls. He ate the number eight. Good, you see that? He ate eight bowls. That's a lot of bowls of moose. He loves moose. The moose loves moose. The monkey will tell you a tale as he hangs from his tail. So he's going to tell you a tale as he hangs from his tail. Isn't that interesting that those words sound the same, but they really mean two different things, don't they? And they're spelled differently. Yes. The toad, here's the animal, the toad, was toad, toad, to the top of the seesaw so he could see the sea. The sea is like the ocean, S-E-A, and he wanted to see the ocean. He wanted to look at the ocean. The bear had to pause to bear his big paws. So here's the bear, and he's paused to bear, or to show, his big paws, his hands. So bear and bear, those sound the same, right? Bear and bear sound the same. Are they spelled the same? No. Do they mean the same thing? No. Pause, like stop, and pause, like hands. Do those sound the same? Yes. Are they spelled the same? No. Do they mean the same thing? No. no. It's interesting, those homophones. Hey, the elephant threw a pail through the big bale of hay. So this is like, Hey, and this is like hay that animals eat. See this big bale of hay? And then he threw it through the hay. Look at that. Have you read about the red fox? I think it's supposed to say red fox. Who blew blue bubbles? Have you read, pretend like you're reading, about the red fox? What's a red fox? What, is that talking about the color red? Yeah. Point to the red um, on the floor. So you can red. Here's red. And here's the color red. Right. He blew, blow, blow a bubble. Chris J. Christian. Blue, 
Please come in quietly and sit down. Bye, boys. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you for sitting down quietly, G1. Okay, so blue. Let's blue. Blue. Blow. And now point, point to the color blue. Blue. Where's the color blue? There's the color blue. Right. So those two words definitely sound the same, but they definitely mean different things. The giraffe's long neck lets him choose what he chews. He's choosing. Do I want to eat this leaf or do I want to eat this leaf? And then he, he can chew on it. Let's chew. I did that. So I can choose what I choose. <laughs> ant, ant. Here's the letter again. It looks like now Deer is writing the letter back to his aunt, aunt. Aunt, aunt, you do have some very interesting new neighbors. I have a new neighbor too. Do you know about the hair with no hair? So do you know? Do you know? Do you know something? About the hare, a hare is an animal, like a bunny rabbit, rabbit. You mean a snowshoe hare? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. With no, yeah. no hair. Hair like on your head. So the word no is like, do you know, or I don't know. And then this word no is like, no, no. So I those know. two words sound the same, but they're spelled differently, right? And, and. and and they mean that. And that's, that's the animal ant. Exactly. Yes, Haley P. You um, missed the beginning of our story. We talked about how ant is like our relative, like our mom's sister or dad's sister. And then an ant is it's a little insect. Right. And a <laughs> hair is like the rabbit, but hair, point to your hair. Uh, it has yeah. No hair. Mm -hmm. Look at this hairless rabbit. Hairless hair. Love your dear, dear. Love your sweet, dear. Because dear means like sweet. And then dear. And then dear is the animal. Absolutely. Okay, friends. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the beginning of our story. And I'm going to pull some frogs. And together, we're going to highlight some of the homophones in our story. So you're looking for two words that are spelled differently, that mean different things, but they sound the same. And we'll do it together. So when I call you up here, we'll work together to highlight some of those homophones. Okay, so let me pull a frog. Tatiana, can't call her, she's not here today. And Isabella. <laughs> Isabella, on this page it says, Dear, dear, and here's Aunt Aunt. She's writing that letter, Haley P., on our first page. Dear, dear, I now live at the zoo. Wait until you hear what goes on over here. Love, Aunt Aunt. Can you highlight two words that are homophones, two words that are spelled differently? Good. Very nice. What words did you highlight? Ant and ant. Ant and ant. And we talked about how an ant is our relative and an ant is an insect. Oh, Good job. Uh, Chrissy, why don't you come up here and find another homophone on this page? There are two more. Here and here. Good. So this kind of here is when you listen to something. And this one says, what goes on over here? So what's that one kind of mean? Right, so here is like what you listen to, and over here is like right here. Yep, those mean different things. And then we also have dear, dear. You use the word dear, wait, raise your hand. You use the word dear when you're writing a letter, and the, the animal dear is a different thing, right? Absolutely. Yes, Juwan? Um, like here and here have a H E at the first letter. Both of them. Here and here have an H E. You're right, actually. So maybe that's why they're why they sound the same. 
Because you get your mouth ready to say hear. And then do they also have that R sound that you hear? Hear. Good. And then right here, you get your mouth ready to make that sound and you say hear. Do you see that R? Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. I think that often we'll notice in our homophones that the letters and the sounds of our letters will look the same, but they are still spelled a little bit differently. Let's look at this one. This is this says moose, like the animal moose. And he loves eating moose. So do you see that the beginning sound? You're right. They start out with a moo. And what's the other sound that we hear? S -s -s -s. Do you see that S? They both have S's. This one has one. This one has two. This one has two moo o o sounds. This one has an O-U sound. So isn't that interesting that words can sound the same, but they look very differently, and they mean very different things? Good. I'm going to pull um, two more frogs. Grace, can you find the other homophone on this page? I highlighted moose and moose. Eight and eight. Good. What does this eight mean? If you're eat, right. And what's this eight? The number eight. Hold up eight fingers. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight fingers. Thanks, Grace. Okay, I'm gonna pull one or two more friends, maybe. Let's do, let's not do this page because it's up so high. Let's do this page. Toad. The toad was towed to the top of the seesaw so he could see the sea. Haley P, can you find us? Um, two homophones in this page of the book. C and C. It's okay. C and C. What does this word C mean when you see something with your eyes? And where's the C? Point to the C in the picture. There it is, like the ocean. Yeah? Interesting. Yes, Arjun. Do you know, no, do you know, no is an uh, right? Like, I've got a homophone. What's your homophone? Do you know it's like sun and sun? Oh, sun and sun. You're right. Yeah. Like boys like like and girls and girls and girls. That's right. And what's the other sun? The sun in the, in, the in the sky. Absolutely, you're right. That's an excellent example of a homophone. Okay, friends, I think that we know what, um, what a homophone is, and we are going to practice writing homophones on a paper today. So um, we will go 